Hello there and thank you so much for joining us here at the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais Orlis, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua. Now, if you're watching this video, you likely are either new to security scanners and or to our all-in-one security scanner called Twivy. Now, you might already be familiar with both, but would like to discover and access new resources around Trivi that you might not yet know about. So you're at the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you where you can find the main resources around Trivi to access information, see where you can access and see tutorials, as well as where you can get help and um, further information from the core team. Now, I really hope this video is going to be useful. If you have any other questions, either throughout the video or afterwards when you're using Trivi, please do comment them below. Start an issue on GitHub, like I'm going to show you in this tutorial as well, or just join us on Slack. All of the links, everything shown in this tutorial in this little video are below in the description. Do check them out. Also, if this video is useful, please do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. It would mean a lot to us. And let's get started. Now, before we dive into the GitHub repository, I just wanted to show you the Trivi.dev website. It's an evolving, constantly evolving website, let's say. Um, <laughs> now, here you can try out your first Trivi security scan on any container image. So you can, for example, do com Ubuntu um, latest. I used over the vacation, I used my German keyboard and now I'm back. <laughs> on um, my British keyboard. Anyway, so here you can see Ubuntu latest. We don't know which one that is, but it currently doesn't have any known vulnerabilities. Um, so we can go back to <laughs> um, the website and you can scan really any of your container images right here through the website as well, just to try out Trivi and uh, container image vulnerability scans. But that's just one small part of what Trivi actually does. We're going to dive in this tutorial and all of the other components of Trivi. Um, here you can see some of the features of Trivi on the website. And here you can find some of the links of our um, to our projects, to Trivi related projects. And you can find here also the Slack link the, to our Slack channel, to our Slack community, and do join there and uh, let us know what you think about Trivi and if you have any questions. Now, here's some other resources where you can find always something new about Acre and about Trivi, where we post about Trivi. First one is the Twitter account for Acre Security, where uh, they share tweets from also the open source team, where they post news. Um, my face <laughs> and where you can find further information also any content um for example here is uh, a link to another uh youtube video uh tutorial and that leads us also to the aqua open source youtube channel we have an aqua uh youtube channel but also the aqua open source youtube channel where you can find only open source content open source related content where you can find for example the recorded Trivi office hours, where you can find other live streams with other people in the community, um, where you can find like presentations from different events, and where you can also find um, tutorials on Trivi, on different things to do with Trivi. If you're a Tracy user, that's also where you can find content on Tracy. Uh, now here you can also find the Aqua Security YouTube channel and my own YouTube channel if you want to subscribe there as well. A uh, little hint. <laughs> but these are like two other social media accounts where you can stay up to date with what's happening uh, on the tool as well as on um, within the community as well. Now we're going to head over now to the GitHub repository. So we are here on the Aqua open source GitHub account where you can find all of our main projects. Now the main projects are Trivi and Tracy. Trivi is our all-in-one security scanner and Tracy is our Linux runtime security and forensic tool using eBPF. Now you can also find our community repository here with additional resources such as links to the Trivi office hours, other projects within the community and more. So if you're curious on how to get involved, how to find out more information, um, do check this out. Here's also a list of all our wonderful uh, contributors and maintainers. Shout out to you. Um, <laughs> going back to the GitHub um, organization, You'll find lots of other projects here that are open source as well. And many of these projects are actually feeding into Trivi and or Tracy. 
Uh, so Trivi is using under the hood several other projects that are within this GitHub organization. Now this video is specifically on Trivi, so we're gonna check out Trivi. And that is here the link <laughs> for the GitHub repository. Now this is Trivi and the readme provides you with like a quick start guide and main components and questions and here you can also find the documentation. Now in the documentation you will first be led to this page with again an overview of the different components, Trivi and how to use it, uh, what Trivi provides you with. So Trivi is an all-in-one security scanner. It can scan these different scan targets. So it can scan any container image, any file system, any Git repository that's remote, so you don't have to have it locally. It can scan virtual machines. It can scan your running workloads within your Kubernetes cluster. And that is all referencing to the Trivi CLI tool. So you can run all of those scans either locally in your CICD pipeline or more. Now, what is it scan those targets for? It's scanning for operating system packages or software dependencies such as SBOMs. It's also scanning for known vulnerabilities, for infrastructure as code, issues and misconfigurations. So anything that's misconfigured within, for example, your YAML manifest, your Terraform, um, it can scan all of that. It's also scanning for sensitive information and secrets that might be exposed, for example, in your Kubernetes YAML manifest. And it's scanned for software licenses, which is a new feature. Now, here's a quick start on how you can go ahead and install Trivi. I use, for example, Homebrew to install it. And then we also have several different um, steps out of the box that you can use to integrate Trivi in, for example, your CICD pipeline using GitHub Actions. So here is the repository. It's officially maintained by, um, by Aqua, this one. <laughs> now, you can also find the installation options here, a more comprehensive list over here. And then within the tutorials, you can find several different tutorials on how to use Trivi, how to integrate Trivi into your existing workflow. And the main section is the CLI section. And the CLI section is referencing anything that you can scan for and how to scan it with, uh, with Trivi, as well as, um, for example, using Trivi in combination with, with Rekor from Sextor or um, yeah, <laughs> using Trivi on your AWS account and so on. So you can find really in the CLI section, you can ask, find all the references for how to scan for vulnerabilities in your container images, um, as well as your file systems, uh, your Git repository, then how to detect for specific issues. Um, then here are some examples. So this is all regarding vulnerabilities. So any known CVEs any vulnerabilities that are known within the space, um, Trivi will scan your resources, your scan targets for those. And then we also have like secret scanning, misconfiguration scanning, what I mentioned at the beginning, what Trivi can scan for. So this is all listed here. Now Trivi can also generate SBOMs and also scan SBOMs generated through Trivi uh, or other SBOMs for vulnerabilities. Um, it supports both CyclonDX and SPDX formats if you're familiar with SBOMs. Now, every page here will provide you with the Trivi command, with example commands. Most of these flags that you will see in the example commands that are supported across the different types of scans that Trivi can perform. So you can kind of reuse different commands and also reuse the flags um, for different types of scans. And Another thing worth mentioning is that when you use Trivi, it's really always the same structure. So you have Trivi, then what you want to scan, in this case an image, um, or you want to create for that image the SBOM and you specify it for the format, and then the output file um, or other flags, and then basically the resource that you want to feed into the command. Um, now that's listed all of that here. So here you can really find everything that Trivi really supports. Then the next section, which is really important, is the ecosystem. And the ecosystem lists lots of different um, community and officially maintained projects as well, such as, for example, what I mentioned earlier, the GitHub Actions are officially maintained. There are also community maintained one. Then we have lots of different ones from them. So these are all created from the community. Trivi has a very vast ecosystem of plugins, of integrations, of community support, basically of community maintained projects.
And then we also have lots of official projects. For example, you can, we have a VS Code plugin, so that's officially maintained, and you can use it in your VS Code. Also for JetBrains, also for Kubernetes Lens, there's an official one. Then there's a community maintained one for Vim, if you fancy Vim. <laughs> um, then we have a Docker desktop integration, Launcher desktop. We have another tool that provides you with a um, CLI interface. So it's basically in your terminal, it provides you with a nicer interface of your different scans. Uh, it's also community maintained. Um, and then there are lots more. So I highly suggest you to check out also this ecosystem section to see how you could integrate uh, Trivi into your existing tools and workflows. Then if you fancy getting involved, here are some of the contributing guidelines of like how you can create issues, how you can create pull requests, um, what kind of help and support is wanted. Um, <laughs> so these are ways to get involved. Now, another way to get involved um, and where you can get support if you have any questions. Uh, so go back to the Trivi GitHub repository and we are big fan of discussions here. So you can find in the discussion section, you can find some of the like just welcome, <laughs> just welcome, the general welcome. Uh, then you can find the announcement of the latest release. So what happened in the latest release. If you're curious about other releases, just, just look for them. They are all within the same format. And then you can find like, for example, for the 35 release, um, the information there and everything that changed. And then we also have monthly Trivi office hours, which has started that last month. Um, so here's the new Trivi office hours. You can find the agenda within that discussion. You can uh, find the registration link to get involved and also the link to more information in the community repository. So that's all within the discussion. Now, if you have any question that is not an issue, that doesn't relate in an issue, uh, but you have a question of how to do something within Trivi, that's also a good place for the GitHub discussions to post it here. Now, if something is not working like expected, I highly suggest you to create an issue um, as well for Trivi. Now, alternatively, to the discussions, you can also use our Slack channel. Um, now, the Slack link is linked below and there are different channels on Slack uh, for the different uh, projects that we have here on uh, Aqua Security. Now, what else do I want to show you? We also have the Trivi Operator. So we're just gonna look for Trivi Operator. Operator. Problem if one screen covers the other. Now, here's the Trivi Operator and the Trivi Operator is really designed for those of you who use Kubernetes who want to have a more automated managed way to run security scans inside of your cluster on your running workloads. So by Trivi, like mentioned, can scan your static Kubernetes manifest, your deployment manifest, your Terraform, your customize, your Helm charts, your cloud formation, all of that. Um, the Trivi CLI can scan, but Trivi operator can scan your running workloads from within your cluster on a continuous basis and then provide you with the outputs of those scans with the metrics. So. Do check out the Trivi Operator if you're curious on that. Now, in the Trivi Operator, you can find also different installation options. Something worth mentioning is that we have within every project, Trivi and Tracy, we have a deploy folder. And here you can find different ways also on how to deploy it. So if you want to understand, for example, how does the Helm chart work? You can go here to the Helm chart and the values YAML file. And here you can then modify the Helm chart for the Trivi Operator to do exactly what you want it to do, basically. Like a lot of times when we use Helm for Kubernetes, we have to make changes, modify things in the, in the Helm chart itself. And that's why we need to know how is the values YAML file configured. Now, this is really it for Trivi, <laughs> the main parts, um, the main projects, the main um, sections within our GitHub organization. Um, do check it out especially like the ecosystem page, do check it out. Do check out the CLI documentation and, and see if you can find uh, what you're looking for. If you have any thoughts on the documentation, please also do create an issue or do ping me on Slack and just let me know your thoughts. Uh, I would highly appreciate it. Now, again, if you enjoyed this video, if it was useful to give you a little overview, um, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. I really hope to see you in one of our next videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.